Welcome to part 1 of the audio visualization tutorial in Unity by PeerPlay. My name is Peter and I have been fascinated by audio visualizations for a long time now. It took me quite some time to figure out how to get the best results and in this tutorial I will share my knowledge for free. I'm putting a lot of my free time into making these and I would really appreciate it if you would like, subscribe or leave a little thank you. If this tutorial helps you, please consider a small donation so I can buy some more noodles. Now that that's out of the way, let's start off with some audio theory before we get into the coding part. Here you can see the line of code that we will use to make a stream of audio data during our game. The magic happens in Get Spectrum Data, which is using fast Fourier transform to convert audio into small samples of frequency data and amplitude. In 1822, Joseph Fourier hypothesized that waveforms consist out of many different sinus and cosinus waves, all at different frequencies. And to show you how a fast Fourier transform really works, I'm going to start off with making a sinus wave. And the sinus wave we'll call the base. And if we look at the fast Fourier transform, we see a little spike at a low frequency, which is the base. Now if we add another sinus wave at a higher frequency, and we combine these together, you will see more of a square um, wave um, happening in the result when we combine these two together. So let's see that. Let's call it the kick, because the kick is a little bit higher than the bass. And we see another spike in the fast free aid transform. Now we could uh, go on with this and create an even higher frequency. And we'll call it the synth. And you can see here happening a more of a rectangular waveform. And another spike at a little higher frequency. Now we could go on and put another one at the ninth of uh, the value of a base. And if we keep doing this, you get a square waveform here. And the complete spectrum of fast Fourier transform, in this case, could be about 20,000 uh, hertz. So it would create 20,000 different samples. And that's a bit high number for our game to work with. So. What we can do with these is if we go back to uh, our code, then we can put these into samples and we could give here a number um, in which we want to divide all the different uh, samples of the spectrum you get from the data. So let's look a little bit deeper into the spectrum of audio. The human hearing is going between 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz. And you can divide this audio spectrum up into about seven categories. The first category is the sub bass between 20 to 60 Hertz. You now hear an example of a, a sub bass at 50 Hertz. And this is the audio that you really feel. Now the second category is the bass between 60 to 250 Hertz. And here's an example of a sinus wave at 100 Hertz. The third category is the low mid-range between 250 Hertz to 500 Hertz and here's an example at 300 Hertz. Now you can see the ranges increasing more and more over when you're getting into a higher range. Let's look at the fourth one, the mid-range between 500 to 2 kilohertz. And you can hear an example here at 1000 hertz. This one is uh, between 2 and 4 kilohertz, the upper mid-range, and here you can hear an example at 3000 hertz. Now the presence is between 4 kHz and 6 kHz uh, and here's an example of a sine wave at 5000 Hz and you might want to put your speakers a little bit down for this one.
And the final one is the brilliance. It's between 6 kHz and 20,000 kHz. And here's a sinus wave at 10,000 Hz. So for the purpose of our audio visualization, we have to take into account that the distances between these different parts over the whole spectrum are getting greater when you're going more up. And here the distances are really low. And next to samples we have channel and we'll just put our channel to zero there. Uh, nothing fancy there and the next one is the FFT window which is a bit more complicated um, it actually is a algorithm of how the spectrum data will be calculated and there are a few options that you can choose and the best one I've seen for audio um, visualization is to use Blackman Harris or Hamming or Hanning so I will not go into it much too deep but if you would like to read up on it, you can check out a link below in the description on FFT Windows. So in the next part of this tutorial, we will start to code into Unity and see an example of the spectrum data into visualization.